Ding dong. Hello. Hey, Joe. Neil, Five Star Plumbing Heating and Air. How you doing? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing good. What brings us out here today? Well, we got a problem with our water heater. Yep. Our water heater. So uh, it's not the water's not working right now. Okay, so just to confirm, are we just looking at it? We're not doing any work today? No, I gotta get this thing fixed. You know, I took off work and everything like that. Okay, so just so we're on the same page, what are we looking to do today? I gotta get this thing fixed. I had taken off work and everything like that, okay? Okay, let's go take a look at it. Look at right there, yeah. Let's come over here. Cool, cool, so, there. there you go. I see you got other stickers on here. Have you ever had another company out here before? Oh yeah, I've had, uh, Acme was here last year lighting the pile light on this thing. Okay, yeah. um, if you don't mind me asking, Joe, why aren't they here now? I don't want to get into it. It was kind of upsetting. Oh, really? Okay. Well, off the record, Joe, just so I don't make the same mistake, can you let me know? Um, off the record, you make the same mistake? Off the record. I don't think you'll do it, but, uh, well, last time the guy was here, he was lighting the pilot light, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he kept, uh, this guy kept saying, you know, he says, you know, he goes, are you a man? He said, I'm my man. He said, I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a man. Why? He goes, well, a real man would just light his own pilot light. You know, oh, wow. He goes, let me teach you how to do it. And I'm like, no, I'm good. You can do it. He goes, come on, get down there. Let me teach you how to do it. And he tried to teach me how to do it. So then he has me hold this red button and try to light the pilot light. And somehow the gas exploded and it singed my eyebrows right off my face. Oh, wow. They drew back nice. And then the guy starts laughing at me. He's like, you look like he said, oh, my God. He said, dude. <laughs> he said, you're a face. <laughs> it was terrible. Was just, I'm, still, I'm still in trauma. Well, with that being said, did you uh, call the manager at all? I did. I called the manager. He wouldn't. He said that, uh, well, any, any real man should be able to let his own pilot light. Oh, wow. He said the same thing. I'm not sure they get this culture like this. this yeah. That's macho terrible. culture. I, I don't get it, you know. Did you take it one step further and contact the owner? I did. I called the owner. He wouldn't take my calls. He was he wouldn't, he was busy. I don't know what he was doing. Oh, wow. So, um, just so I'm clear, in the future, do you plan on giving them a second chance to bring them back out here? No, I'm done with these guys 100%. Neil, I would never work with them again. Okay. You sure? No, no. I'm done with these guys. Okay. All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> who found the issue today? Uh, I mean, that's how I got a hold of you guys, though. Uh, okay. Interesting, interesting how I got a hold of you guys. Okay. So how'd you get a hold of? How'd you hear about us? Uh, I guess Google did. Okay. Yeah. Did you uh, read any reviews or someone let you know to Google us? Not really. Just Google did, and I was. I think it said you guys have good customer service, and so I did, that's why I really need. Okay. The last time, so I look for people who are good at customer service, and yeah, I did see a few reviews. I didn't read any, but I saw the stars. Yeah, the average like four point nine stars. Okay. Yeah, look pretty good, you know. So that's that. Uh, did you uh, read anything else? No, that's it. Just kind of called your office and I talked to who, who answers the phone over there? It's Sarah. Sarah, I answered, called to Sarah. Okay. She, was, she was really nice. Yeah. yeah. What'd you like about her? Oh, gosh, she answered the phone. She booked the call. Just very professional. Just okay. top, top notch person. Was there anything else you liked about her? Oh, God, she was. Uh, we talked about our kids. I guess my kids go to the same uh, daycare her kids go to. Okay. Like that, yeah. Awesome. So it's just, it just like a really nice lady, kind of quality person that the company needs. Yeah. You know? Hey, Joe, would you mind if I do something? What's that? So Sarah, she's our dispatcher. She's kind of on the back end of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, once she takes the call and gives us a call, she doesn't really stay involved. Would you mind if I went back and uh, told her all those nice things that you said about her? She really do that, doesn't really? hear them at all. Really? Yeah. That is so nice of you to do that. You're, you're a nice guy, aren't you? Well, thank you. I try to be. I wish I had, where do they find kids like you? Uh, younger people. Hemet. Got Hemet? me in Hemet. They yeah. find them in Hemet? Yep. I can't, I never find them around here. It's amazing. They're, they're not around here. I'll oh. tell you right now. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get you. You want a cup of coffee? I would love a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar or black? I'd like cream and sugar, please. Of course. That's yeah. the way Normal to do person. It. Like, as a normal person. Yeah. There you go. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what did you find here, Neil? Something nice. Oh, yeah. They'll get to the who. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it was interesting when we found this water heater wasn't working this morning. So, who found the issue? My wife, Julie, found it. She was just livid this morning when she found it. Um, what'd she say? She said, uh, uh, she said, you know, the last guy said, if you're a real man, you'd light the pilot. And uh, she, she started coming after me with that whole nine yards. She started telling me that oh, wow. I should be a real man and light my own pilot. Wow. You know? How'd that feel? I feel bad because, I mean, I care about my family. I'm not going to get my eyebrows singed again like that. that was no, just, I completely understand. Um, did anyone else uh, notice it? you have any kids? My, my, my daughter, Karen, 
couldn't take a bath this morning because she has eczema and she has to take a medicated bath, so that was terrible there. And why? Oh, wow. He's got asthma. He couldn't go to school either today because of that. So the whole family is just that they're with my wife. They're out uh, by by grandma's house today because uh, they couldn't take a bath or shower, so they stood home from school. So it's oh, really wow. kind of a bad day. Really. It happened all today. All happened today. Yeah. Wow. Joe, can I say something real quick? What's that? You know, it is truly inspiring because I'm a father myself. And the fact that you took off work to make sure that you had this issue handled by the time they came back tonight, that's truly inspiring. So you know, nice to say that. That is amazing. In fact, um, when we're done today, can I take a photo with you? I'd love to really? show my kids what a real hero looks something? like. Yep. Let's do that for sure. Perfect. That's, that's awesome. Good. I wish I had more coffee or something to offer you. <laughs> I guess we're good, though. But oh, thanks so much. Yeah, I'm just, it was just stressful the whole thing this morning. Very stressful. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yep. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. What'd you find? Would you come up and nail something nice and easy? Well, Joe, um, I don't like what I see. Um, you have a fracture fault in the hot water conta containment system. Oh, God, that sounds um, terrible. Yeah, I, I, well, luckily we have a SITS options that I can present to you. Um, would you like to take a look at them? Sure, what is it? Perfect. So this one, uh, this first one right here, I call this the Premium Plus Joe and Hot Water, Joe and Joe and his family hot water containment renovation. Mm, tell me about that. Um, what it is, it's a we're going to be installing a Navian uh, endless hot water tapeless unit. Mm -hmm. um, it has a built-in recirculation pump, um, so you have continuous hot water throughout the lines. Mm. Um, it's a really, <coughs> truly one of the most f efficient units you can get on the market right now. <coughs> okay. Um, in addition, and why'd you do that for us? Uh, well, I did actually <coughs> didn't really have to worry about this issue again. You know, the hot water heater leaking, going out. Um, it does. That's okay. 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 Um, in addition to that, I'm installing uh, for Karen because you said she had eczema. Mm -hmm. We're uh, installing the comfort water treatment system, mm -hmm. uh, whole home, uh, so that. You know, it doesn't cause any flare-ups or anything with our skin. That's really great, yeah. yeah. So we need that. So you're putting it in there with that? Absolutely. Oh, God. Absolutely. So in addition to that, we have a, another portion of our company. I'm going to be bringing in a team. Um, it's for the... So down here on the stand, you have some uh, bacterial growth. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want that to <coughs> um, flare up into the home. So what we're actually going to do is bring out a team. They're going to take care of that stand, uh, repair the drywall, uh, texture, paint it. Um, that way it'll give you a little bit more room right here in the corner. Wow, you're going to take care of all that too? Absolutely. I thought it was look gross. I was wondering about that. Yeah. Well, you're not really going to need one because we're getting rid of the tank. We're putting in a tank that's on the wall. Okay, yeah. Um, That'll be easy to do. Absolutely. Yeah. So in nice. addition, that also comes with a 10-year um, you stay, no pay warranty and service agreement. Mm. So as long as you're in the home, um, if you ever have an issue, you can call us out 24-7, 365 days a year. Um, you won't have to write us a single check. You won't have to mm -hmm. run your card or cash or anything. That's amazing. Yeah. What do you think something like that would run you? I'm a little afraid. I mean, I would say like twenty thousand dollars. Oh, I'd add an extra zero on that. Two hundred thousand. Oh, I wish I could do it for that. Come on, how much is it? Joe, you're actually looking at eighteen thousand six hundred eighty-five dollars to get all that done today. So what should we do? About a little bit of having a heart attack over this price. That's a kind of a high price meal. Well, when's the last time we got the best service for the cheapest price? Never. So what should we do? Uh, you got any wiggle room on the price? Can you get that down to like fourteen thousand all? Anything Unf like that? Unfortunately, we strive for customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. If I reduce the price anything, I'd have to cut corners, and that would really impact the safety and re reliability of the installation. Mm -hmm. So what should we do? Just had to ask. Um, could you email it to me so I talk to my wife about it and give you a call back later? And do you one better? Can we both agree that this top option is a little bit too premium for you? Yeah, it's too much. Okay. What do you think about the second option? That's what nine thousand. Was it nine thousand four sixty-five? It's actually fourteen thousand four hundred sixty-five dollars. Fourteen thousand four sixty-five. Yeah, it includes everything as the first option. It's up the mold mitigation. You only get an eight-year warranty and service agreement with that one. But I want to get rid of that mold though. Okay. So that would be the top option here. So what should we do? Can't drop the price a little bit, like give me down to nine thousand even, nine nineteen thousand even on this one. I do you want? Well, it's only eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Give me down. Give me down to eighteen. Take off six hundred eighty-five and get down to eighteen thousand. Well, I can do you one better. Let's just drop down to the second premium option. Oh, but I like the top one though. Okay. So <coughs> we do. 
So you're, you're going to lose an $18,000 job over $685? doesn't look too smart. Say, well, Joe, how can, I, how can I lose? Joe, I can't lose what I never had, Joe. I never had the job. Joe, I can't lose the job if, I, if you never give it to me. What should we do? Well, will this get the hot water back on for me if I get this thing going? If I said it could, what would we do? $18,685. Let's just do that one. Okay, so what should we do? $18,685. Okay. Check your card. Can I use a uh, professional check? People still write those? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, if I said I did, what would we do? I'd just do it then. Okay, you get the check, I'll get the paperwork. There you go. Nice job, Renee.